must be nice to be boring. It must be nice to not think about anything. I've been obsessed with death my entire life. I guess I have no choice but to be close to God because of this obsession. I do get profoundly sad when I think about the pointlessness of it all. But when you see the pointlessness of it all, then you really understand like what's important. Like it has to be important because like this is all we have. Just these little things that matter to us in this life. We can do something positive with those things. Attempt to make this world a better place even though the world will continue to shit on us. Life is hard, Amy. If it wasn't, it wouldn't be life. Yeah. I just feel so old, man. I know that I act like a child, but maybe that's because I feel so old. <laughs> I feel like I'm like 800 years old. Watching the world kill itself. I mean, maybe the world was always killing itself. It just wasn't noticeable. And now it's killing itself at such a rapid rate that you can't not be completely nauseated by it. It's good to get different perspectives though, man. Because if I got the same perspective over and over again, not only would that be boring as fuck, but... I would be so sick from that one perspective, you know? And I think that's why people are so sick. It's because they're so stuck on that one thing. But I'm sick because I'm, I'm on all these things at the same time, you know? It's like I'm ingesting all these horrible facets of different elements of life and culture and perspective, whatever you want to call it. And it's just so exhausting, man. Like, I'm fucking tired. I'm so tired. I just want to go to sleep. I just want to be like the rest of the country and just fucking sleep. You know, I was talking to my friend Alex. She's got a fucking brain tumor, man. It's getting so bad. She's gonna have to have surgery like almost immediately. And she's got so much resilience. It's so impressive to me. And she told me that today was like the first time that she's wanted to drink in like 10 months. She's got 10 months of sobriety. And that's, that's interesting because I have 10 years of sobriety, but I'm so proud of her. I'm so much more proud of her for having 10 months of sobriety than my damn self because it doesn't matter to me. It's just one day. But it's like she didn't drink. She got all this terrible information. She, she didn't drink. The thing is, though, drinking won't make anything better. Cause you'll have to deal with whatever it was that you were dealing with before you start drinking. And on top of that, you're gonna have all these other problems that have accumulated because of your drinking. But we were just talking about how like, we just wanna be blacked out. <laughs> it's not drinking. Like, drinking was never fun. It's like, you don't miss drinking, you miss drunking. You miss being so fucked up that you're too incapacitated to feel anything at all. Because when you're used to feeling the fuck out of everything, 
A blackout sounds real good, you know? At the very least, the blue out. Because it's like you're underwater. But honestly, I feel that way sober too. <laughs> Just not being on Twitter, that's like a blue out. You know, it's like, there are all these things that I want to say to people on the internet. And I say them in my own way, in this obscure social media YouTube account that I have. And I'm hoping that eventually it'll start to resonate with people and eventually maybe people will get where I'm coming from, but I can't help but feel pretty helpless when it comes to that sort of thing. Like, mainly because I don't want to do it their way. And in not doing it their way, I have to be patient and I have to wait. But I think the biggest problem in this country is that people don't want to wait for what they want. They don't, they don't want to work for it, they don't want to wait for it. But I'm hoping it'll pay off. And not literally, because I don't care about money. That's the last thing I want. I just want people to understand where I'm coming from. Because that's money.